Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get to Cairo and back. So for starting off, you're going to need quite the rocket. So you're going to need some Delta V on this thing. So about four kilometers there, about four kilometers back. Don't forget about the four kilometers getting to orbit. Well, four and a half. So let's just get started here. I'm going to assume that you know how to get in orbit. If you don't, well, this might be a little challenging for you. So, to get oriented correctly here, I'm gonna hopefully get, get rid of this like 42 million different sliders. Alrighty, here we go. And, if I were to do this, so I'm gonna do a bit of a quick time lapse here. Do. -do. And almost there. Oh yeah, quick tip. Uh, if you put your thrust to weight ratio like 1.5, you can just pitch over to 7 degrees and then just lock prograde. It'll do the orbit for you, which is, you know, kind of easy. If you didn't already know that. Alrighty, welcome to this wonderful place called Orbit. So now once I get settled, got a lock prograde here. Should be switching to the map screen any second here. There we go. Sorry about the clutter. No. Eh, the space pandas don't mind. So next up, obviously target Kylo. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, well not easier. It's really hard to go to Kylo without targeting it. Okay, so for this transfer window, here's how I do it. I eyeball it. Because I don't like math and math's too complicated. So here's what I look for. Just making sure that Cairo is a little bit past the uh, apoapsis usually works pretty well. I mean, and you're kind of looking for that like 45 to 50 degree angle off the sun. So if you draw a line from Drew to the sun, then back to uh, Cairo, you want it to be like, you know, 40 to 50 degrees. So then you're going to expand. Quite a bit of delta V getting out of here and up to height, but you should be pretty close. As you can see, I'm decently close. If it's not showing up or anything like that, you're gonna want to make sure you're like actually wind because if it's too far, you're gonna just gonna expend up using all your fuel trying to correct it. So yeah, let's go ahead and burn this guy. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, everyone, well, welcome back. So next up, we're gonna to have to do a bit of a correction burn. So hopefully you're gonna be close. So what you do is you just get that thing. You just play around with it until it turns green, which means you have an encounter with Kylo. You're on. It's basically most of it. So now I recommend you just kind of zoom in and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that inclination is like as basically level as you can, because if it's not, it's gonna like bite you in the butt later because it's a lot more expensive to correct once you're there. So yeah, let me just sort of get that guy settled there. Yeah. So, oh, and the other thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind is what direction you're going in because if you end up having like an inclination of 180 degrees, you can't really do anything about that, which is no fun. So yeah. This is basically it for getting there. So once you time warp and stuff like that, it's gonna be like a super quick burn. Obviously it doesn't take much delta V, but yeah. All right, so I will see you guys in a few minutes once we get to Kairoi. Okay, so I lied, it's been a few seconds, but we're at Kairoi. So hopefully it looks something like this. If it doesn't, well, um, I hope you took quick saves. Oh, speaking of quick save, might want to take one now, in case anything goes terribly wrong. You never know, and you really don't want to repeat this. Alright, so make sure you put your uh, little thingy, bobber, I don't know what to call this thing, right on the periapsis, because that's going to be like the most efficient, yada yada yada. This should be pretty easy for you. This is like the home stretch we're getting there. 
So this is basically time warp. So yeah, this guy is going to take another minute. I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so through the power of editing, we are here. So I'm going to do some orbit stuff. I got like a space station stuff. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys once all that's done. I'll show you how to get back to Juro. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to undock from the space station, and we're going to go back to Juro. Hope you are ready. So, at the beginning of the video, I said it required like 4 kilometers a second to get back. That was kind of a lie, especially if you're just planning to do the good old arrow breaking. So yeah. So, to get back, you use the same way that you got to Drew. Not to Drew, to Kyra. Just by putting uh, Drew slightly in front of its apoapsis, as I'm showing you. So yeah, go ahead and time warp there. Do, do, do. And... So obviously you can put the little burn gizmo on the bright side of the planet, preferably perpendicular to the sun. Okay, you should know this already, especially since you got here. So yeah, this guy's cheaper. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, wait, I lied. Take a quick save. Because if you mess this up like I did, because this definitely isn't my sixth attempt at doing this, you will regret it, because then you have to do the whole thing again. Take a quick save. Alrighty, so our burn is done and out of the way. So next up, we're going to have to do a bit of a corrective burn and, you know, get everything correct. So yeah, you know, obviously want to basically repeat the same process, put it there, you know, do some wacky stuff with it till, you know, it looks good, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, welcome to Drew. Ever been here before? Alrighty, so time to repeat the same process. Obviously, if you want to do the little arrow breaking, or I suppose litho breaking, I wouldn't recommend it though. Just set it below. I, I recommend 30,000. Don't actually target the ground because that might be too steep of a, you know, going into the atmosphere. You don't want to burn up. And if you're trying to get into orbit, yeah, should know how to do that. So yeah, I'm going to time lapse again. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, and a few seconds later, here we are. Low Drew Orbit. Congratulations, if you're able to follow along, you just made, made it back. That's like, awesome. So, that's it. If you have any questions or need help with anything, feel free to comment. And, you can always leave a like. Totally optional, but greatly appreciated. So yeah. Oh uh, well, yeah, and I definitely did not just strain my astronauts. So yeah, have a great day, and I hope to catch you later.